yeah, I think the feeling of the freedom to fly is what I still think I've been looking for. Like always having that backing um, that, you know, if you, like I would imagine healthy relationships with your parents. It's like you always feel like you can do anything because your parents are going to be there no matter what. I always felt like it was so conditional. Like if I floundered, I was going to be right, you know. So it's that the feeling inside I think I'm still looking for or that experience. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. Feel that lack inside of you. Mm -hmm. What do you feel it? My heart. Mm -hmm. no, it's just a color attached to it. What's the color? It's it's a um, gray. Mm -hmm. Pull it out. Pull it all out. Every last drop. Don't let any of it stay behind. Keep it. Yeah, out of all the aunts and uncles, I got the short end. I felt like I got the short end of the stick in the family. Because <laughs> everybody talks about how much they love their parents. And I'm like, I don't <laughs> it feel that. So to teach mm -hmm. you something. Right. You've got the greatest yeah. lessons. You know, who was right. it? Um, what's his name? Dean Graciosi wrote a book called The Underdog. Something, mm. something like that. Yeah. And says is that those people who had it hardest mm. in their younger years, generally, if you can turn that around to be your strength, mm. you go the furthest. Okay. And like Tony, isn't he part, part of Tony Robbins? I know I used yes, to was Tony Robbins Tony years Robbins. ago, but yeah. The yeah. background Tony Robbins came from, he came from mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. Dean came from nothing. All these great people came from nothing. The people mm. who come from riches, the people who come from, generally, you don't hear about them so much. Right, right. Yes. Right, they don't appreciate what they have. Or I always look at it like, you know, the child who has everything and they, they don't even, you know, appreciate their parents for it. I'm like, wow, you know, I know the contrast of, you know, I would have just been like, you know, but that's a different experience we both had. So it's not just yeah. they don't appreciate it. They mm. don't know when adversity comes to them. They have no idea how no to. Idea. Right. Right. Yeah. People who have been through it know how to. Mm. It's the same way. It's like when I got divorced, I mm. could spot out women who were in a bad marriage a mile away. Right. Other people who were in good marriages didn't know how to do that couldn't do it right true right yeah all right so okay back to the pulling mm -hmm. missing out okay Okay. Got it all? Mm hmm Those are your mind's eye, what the color is now? It's uh, pink. You notice how it spin to it. Which way is it spinning? Counterclockwise. Take it by the two sides, make it be the opposite of what it was in every possible way, spinning it faster and faster, doubling the speed, doubling the amplitude, doubling the magnitude, doubling the frequency. Keep doubling it over and over again so you know it can never go back to before. Going to get bigger and better ways now until it takes on like force because when you got it for all the right reasons, slam it right back in, chakra system as you do. Any sensations, any feelings you might be feeling are your body's way of letting go of the old, allowing the new. Some of my clients shake, some of them shiver, some of them tear, some of them yawn. Any of those physiological reactions or any other ones you might be feeling are the normal way for your body to reset its neurological start point. Don't try to stop it. Don't try to change it as your body process through. And just like a snake sheds its skin and takes a new skin, just like a computer sheds its old program, takes a new program, allow your body to shed all those old programs that support the program you just deleted and allow to install new programs, the ones that support the new program you just installed. And we know you got it for all the right reasons. 
try to bring it back, see what happens instead. I see this um, cyclone of pink just going through me and it's when it's turning it just it's turning on the abundance the word of abundance it's good excellent spinning yeah that yeah mm -hmm. no matter where i came from it's okay to have a good Good, good right now, good future. Yep. It doesn't, yeah. Did you ever see the music movie Music from the Heart? No. Mm -hmm. okay, it's a great movie with Cheryl Streep based on a true story. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites because okay. I relate to it. Okay, it's this woman who was married to a Marine guy, had two boys with him at some point when the boys were like, I don't know, six and eight or six and ten, something like that he ran off with another woman okay and she had to start earning money for these two kids mm. and supporting them and herself so what did she know mm. how to do she knew how to play the violin she had this friend who taught in this um slum area i think it was chicago but i could be wrong about that might it might have been new york it might have been new york okay okay mm -hmm. so i think they i think they got to um where was it where do they have the symphonies and orchestras in New York? Oh, um, something hall. Um, oh. Right, right, right. Something Orchestra hall. hall? No, it's not orchestra no. hall. Can't remember right uh, now, but it'll come to me at two yeah. o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'd have to Google it, but. Um, right. In any case, yeah. right? So yeah. she says, please, I need a job. I will teach the kids how to play violin. And the principal's like, these kids are like the slummiest of the slummiest kids. Like they come from broken mm -hmm. homes. They come from, you, you think you're going to be able to teach them how to play a violin? Like, go ahead, go ahead and try. Right? So she gets a job. She starts teaching them. She brings them up to the level where they perform in that yes. hall. It's not radio music, radio music hall. It's a different radio right. music hall. It's a different one. Can't remember yes. what it's called right now. It's right. my tongue. <laughs> I know. You'll be doing a post about it later. Yes. Right. Yeah. On the way to that hall, she's in the cab with her mom. And she looks at her mom and says, you know something? I really have to thank, I don't remember, whatever her husband's name was. And her mother looks at her and says, why? And she says, because had he not left me, I would still be busy washing his clothes and washing his dishes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It's like yesterday I was thinking about the ex and how, you know, we went through a lot in four years and the narcissism and things. And I was like, but I, yeah, when you said I'd still be, I'd still be doing the things that were important to him and living his life. So I didn't have to look at my own. And yeah, so that's why I said, okay, I'm thankful that this place is, I needed a place and this place is been the you know a place that I needed to go to before I move on it's my stepping stone so um exactly yeah. mm -hmm. but the same thing goes for your parents mm -hmm. you know you didn't yes. get to choose your parents but the point is is that regardless of all that whatever mm -hmm. your parents gave you they gave you that drive to move forward away from what they right. gave you right and yes, and I'm only punishing myself now by, it's like, Dr. Phil used to say, what's worse than holding on for 10 years, 10 years in one day, one day. you know, right. um, I'm only punishing myself because I'm, I've taken it on now. I didn't need right. to, but I took it on. And yeah, yeah, right. Well, and I, 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 I felt the feeling of what it would feel like, like, um, you probably heard about the John Travolta lost his wife or whatever to cancer of two years and they kept it hidden. And the daughter was wrote this beautiful post about her mother. Thank you for being there for me always. And you're just a beautiful example of a mother. And 
But I, I got into the feeling of that, of what it would have felt like to be in an environment like that. And I'm like, oh, you know, it brings a lot of peace. So it's, um, you know, what it must feel like to be in that. So that was a good example of um, feeling that peace internally. So. so that goes back to choosing who you want your mother to be now. Right. Yes, true. Yes. So, the, yeah, and my future now is choosing who I want it to be. Yeah. You have the choice. Yes. Right. And since I'm not married now, yeah, I get to choose. It's not just a byproduct of if they have, you know, if my significant other had parents or whatever, it's I get to choose. So. Not just that, but just imagine like you made the choice and then maybe through her, you'll yes. meet who your real significant other is. That's right. Yeah. You never know how these things work. Right. Yes. But once you have the inspired action to do something and you take action about it, it leads you on to where you, the only thing you have to know is where you want to get to at the end. That's all. Okay. Where okay. you want to get to and what the feelings are that you want to have when you get mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that Abraham Hicks has like some technique where you just sit there and you write five pages of the word fun or five mm -hmm. pages of the word clarity. You know, something that makes you feel good, mm -hmm. that puts you into a good place. Mm -hmm. she, also, she also has some song about, if you want it, you can get it, just get out of the way. Mm. Which is really important because what people usually do is they want something so badly that when they're focusing on it, they're actually focusing on the lack of it. Mm. And when you're doing the law of attraction, I mean, law of attraction is always working, but it works based on what your consciousness is feeling, not based on the words that you're mm. saying. Right? Okay. Yes. If you put yourself in a place where you're constantly bemoaning the fact that you didn't have that mom, mm. wow. Yeah. Are you, what are you getting more of? The same, right? Okay. Yeah. If you go out and find someone and adopt mm. that person and she yeah. adopts you, you're yeah. now putting yourself in the place of a mom that you do want to have. Yeah. And what does that true. do? Yeah, that totally raises my vibration to the experience of, um, yeah. Whether it be a, a mother, a friend, or whatever. Mm -hmm. What I'm yes. saying is that you have to change the vibration from that lack of it to mm -hmm. the having it. Yes. And if you well, can't. Mm -hmm. If you can't yeah. do that, you go general to something totally different, something totally neutral. Okay. Hit the subscribe button down below and the bell button so that you'll never miss another video. You'll get notified every time I put out a new video. Have a great day.